Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the AR Guy and I have a tabletop unboxing of some more parts that are going to go into our Space Force build. I finally have got the theme going on uh, in my mind. And you know what? We all have that one rifle where we're just not sure of how we're going to build it. And we just start buying parts and more parts and more parts <laughs> until, the, <laughs> until we actually come up with something that we like. So that... I think that's this rifle for me. For my for my next one, I really do have some great ideas. Uh, I'm thinking of 300 blackout or 308. I'm not going to be doing a 223556 in my next build. So let me just cut this open real quick and get it out. Let's make sure everything's in it. Hopefully so. All right, first thing you see, uh, some more Odinworks parts. The XMR3 from Odinworks, the extended magazine release. Uh, the reason I'm getting this is, all right, we'll just bring it in right now. As it sits right now, I have completed the lower, uh, the lower assembly. Uh, when I go to push it, it, it's, it's just a bit of a stretch. Um, I'll probably be sitting here and it's just a little bit outside my range. So I'm going to have to adjust my grip just to get onto it. So I'm thinking about changing it out to the extended mag release to, uh, get a little bit better purchase on it in terms of the way I want it because I just can't seem to reach it uh, as well as I would like to at this moment. So um, the Space Force build, this is kind of what it's looking like right now in terms of the lower. Um, but anyway, I, I digress. So let's take another look at the par next part we have going for this build and Strike Industries. This one's actually for the upper receiver. This is a chrome forward assist. You guys can kind of see the theme I'm going with here. What we have right here is going to be what we have is going to be our Strike Industries forward assist going into our limited edition etched flag upper receiver. And it's going to make a nice addition, I believe, uh, with the theme. Pull that down into frame at least. So I think if both of these parts are going to look great in the upcoming build, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, should I change out this mag, uh, mag release or should I leave it and just put this part on a different build? I'm... Hmm... Just not sure. I really think I might want to put it back on this, but I may have screwed myself already with the uh, with the bolt catch install, and I may not be able to even change it out. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it may go on a different build. I don't know. Uh, but until next time, go ahead and check out that video if you haven't already done so. Helps me out a lot. And as well, check out that one, please. I would really appreciate it. Um, go ahead and click on down over here to subscribe. I am the AR guy. Thank you very much for watching. Build your guns, stand your ground, defend your rights. I appreciate every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one.